foot. Um, he blocks the foot and he comes up. I'm trying to keep my knees high, but he will eventually work them through, right? I'm trying to keep my knees high, but eventually work them through. He can't control both my foot and my knee at the same time. If he's holding on to my, my, my foot, right, he's not holding on to my knee. If he's holding on to my knee, he's not holding on to my foot. Does that make sense? So, when you're here and you're trying to push your knees through, he's not, he can't stop this motion. All right? So, this one's going to drop down, because again, he's holding on my knee and on my foot, so I can do that. This one's going to come underneath. Just like an X guard, but with an overhook. This is zero. When he compresses on my head, I'm going to push it that diagonal. That way. You see what I mean? Not straight up. If I go straight up, he might fall this way or this way or that way, and it'll be an awkward fall for me. Hold on tight. If we kind of go like this, and we're kind of, right, it's kind of a funky position, right? So, not that it's not workable, but I want to put myself in a comfortable position, which is him over there. That way. Then back. One more time. Here, me on the outside, that way. Back. That's zero. Defending problem. No problem. Right? He knows I'm doing it. What are his choices? Right? He can try to try to put, push my foot back through I'll go to two. Do you know what I mean? He can't cover all the base at the same time. Right? So get out. Right? You can't cover all of them. You can't cover two and one and zero. Come on, Dan. <laughs> so, um, this is really important. 